We've got in question six, a six-sided die is biased so that the probability of scoring six is 0.1 and the probabilities of scoring anything else are all equal. In a game at a fate, contestants pay three pounds to roll this die. If the score is six, they receive ten back. If it's five, they receive five back. Otherwise, they receive no money back. Find the organizer's expected profit for a hundred rolls of the die. And we'll maybe, we maybe will look at this in a couple of different ways, actually, <coughs> and see what, what would happen with this. Because um, it's quite an interesting... It's quite an interesting alternative approach. So I'll do the... This is the completely formal way of doing it. So, thinking, thinking it through, we've got, we've got a couple of things that are going on here. We've got the, the die that can take all the values 1 to 6. So this is, this is just the score on the die at the moment. And the probability of it taking each value, well, it's 0 0.1 there. And then all of these have the same probability. And remember what we know about this stuff. We know that the probabilities add up to 1. So 5p plus 0 0.1 is equal to 1. Which if we rearrange that gives us 5p is 0 0.9. So p is 0. I think it's 1 8, isn't it? If you divide 0 0.9 by 5, we get 0 0.18. So that's the probability of each of these individual things. Now I've got to think about something else, because now I've got to think about <coughs> the, the profit that the organiser makes. So I'm going to use a different variable now. Let's use y for the sake of argument. And, uh, and he makes, let's think, what profit does he make from this? Well, he either makes a £3 profit... Or, if the dice landed on a 5, he made a loss of 2 pence. Because the contestant paid him 3 pounds and then he gave them 5 back. If, if it landed on a 6, he lost 7 pounds. They paid him 3 pounds, he gave back 10. So they are his expected profits. They are his potential profits. And the probability... <coughs> of each of these profits occurring, well that one is 0 0.1, that one is 0 0.18, because that only happens if we get a 5, and this one is all the rest. This is if we get a 1, 2, 3, or 4, and 4 times 0 0.18 is 0 0.72. So they are his profits and their expected probabilities. So if we find the expected y, this will tell us his expected profit per turn. So that's 3 times 0 0.72 plus minus 2 times 0 0.18 plus minus 7 times 0 0.1. Remember how we find the expectation of a discrete random variable? And if we work that out, this is going to give us, let's do this, 3 times 0.72 plus minus 2 times 0.18 plus minus 7 times 0.1. I didn't really need to type in this calculator. Gives us 1.1. Now that means his expected profit for per round of the game is £1.10. So his total expected profit for 100 games is £110. And that'll be the end. Now that's, that's kind of the formal probability theory way of going about doing this game. And it seems like pretty reasonable ideas, isn't it, of how we do that. Um, but, let's think, actually, you might, you might not see that as being a formal probability thing. You might think, well, he's doing 100 games. 
and the people in the fate are playing three pounds per game. So he collects from them 300 pounds. A hundred games and the probability of a six is 0.1. So we would expect a tenth of those games to produce a six. So we'd expect a six in ten games. That would be right, wouldn't it? Now every time he gets a six, he's paying out ten pounds. And it's happening ten times. So we'd expect him to pay out hundred pounds for the sixes. <coughs> every time it rolls on a five, He's paying out, um, for, uh, what was it, three pounds? No, five pounds. That was it, wasn't it? And, and let's think this through. There are remaining 90 games that all happen with the same probability. And so a five would happen in a fifth of those 90 games. So that would be 18 games. that we'd score a 5. So we're going to have 18 times 5 paid out. So that's another 90 pounds paid out. For the people who won 5s. And we just need to add all this up. 300, take away 100 for the 6s, take away 90 for the 5s, gives us 110 pounds. That was the formal probability way of doing it. That was thinking through what's going on in the problem. Both demonstrate the same kind of understanding of, of probability and the understanding of what we mean by expectation. And we can both get you all the marks for 110. Um, what, which way did you do it? Um, this, this one. Okay. And that's maths. <laughs>